You promise me not to fall down, okay? Okay, I just came all the way up here on the Schlossberg just for the view, just so this video has a nice background. Even though I'm quite busy because tonight I'm hosting a games night. But anyway, uh, let's record a video. A video about the comments from my last vlog. Vlog number four. Okay, let's get started. Uh, the first comment on this video was... Shitty jobs reminds me of your video, Shitty Mattress. Haha, <laughs> doing a great job now. Thumbs up. Well, thank you. So somebody watched some old videos recently. Um, but yeah, you commented a lot. Uh, should I really try to pronounce your name? Himanshu? Anyway, thanks for being so active in the comment section. I really enjoy that. And I also really like that you enjoy my videos. That, that's great. I mean, I mainly do them for fun and just, yeah. And it's always cool if then people find you and who really get something out of them as well. That's, that's nice. That's like very good to hear. So thank you very much. Next comment, the fish slappy, the fish slappy always comments. My worst job has to have been when I was working in retail for company name here in London. Minimum pay, no sick pay, nine days of holiday per year. Oh, that's why you told me a minimum holidays per year. Oh yeah, oh, yeah okay. Uh, nine hour shifts, didn't know which shi Oh yeah, if you don't know what you're gonna work and you can't plan ahead, that's, that's horrible. First job in London and the manager was hilarious. Well, even if the manager is hilarious, I think I still wouldn't want to do that kind of job. So yeah, all those kind of jobs in, in retail and in transport and in gastronomy, I don't want to do those kind of jobs. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to end up in retail or as a waiter or as a bartender. Although bartender might, maybe for events, like if it's just one day, then I could possibly, but not every day behind the bar. No, that's not for me. Next comment by Alina. My worst job was an office job. Yeah, office jobs are the worst, I know. The job per se was dull, but okay. Mainly, I organized stuff and wrote emails to clients. Oh yeah, emails. Pfft. The bigger problem was the commute. Oh yes, that's horrible. Yeah. Another reason why I would really like to work from home, because then you don't need to commute. Also, I heard so many times from so many different people that you should live close to your work even if you then live in a shitty small apartment but still your life will improve you will be a lot happier if you're not stuck in traffic for two hours every day and yours is even worse like three hours more than three hours three and a half hours every day if you calculate how much time like and you're not getting paid for that even if you get like the few euros for petrol or public transport if that's paid even then like it's still downtime and you can't really do much in this so yeah I understand how this job is horrible I basically had no life beside yeah and and that's not a life I want to live you know I really want to build my job around my life and not my life around my job because then I might not be able to build a life I remember getting even some tax relief because it took me so long to get there. Okay, so that's at least that's nice, but still. That's just because Austria is such a social country. Last comment I got is by Lilith. My worst job was one of those about taking care of children. Oh, children are the worst. So many things are the worst. No, actually, ch I, children are exhausting as fuck. But they're not the worst. They're definitely not the worst. Uh, there are other things that are the worst, like text statements, those are the worst. Yeah, I'll stay with text statements being the worst. Here it was nothing like a summer camp, it was just a place where parents could pay to bring their children and watch them play. I was then just in addition to the parents who were present and didn't have anything to add. Okay, so the children were already on, under the parents care and you just stood there. But the worst is that my boss was mean and unfair. With friends of mine oh yes okay and I have that impression that you're very protective of your friends so I can understand how this is a problem so I basically couldn't like my boss at least it was short a week or two yeah I mean the jobs that are just a week or two I usually just fight through because unless it's really really horrible even if it took for ages to get paid in the end oh classic it's the same as with the grades by Cranfield <laughs> I still don't have my grade like not official ones when I handed in my paper today 
uh, she said, I can't accept that. Those are not your real grades yet. They might change. And then I said, yes, but my real grades I'll get in July next year. So she accepted it then. <laughs> it's all about talking. Like if you, if you can talk properly, negotiate, then life is easier. Um, anyway, but in the end I managed to have fun with children and my friends. So it was tiring. But it was okay. It's okay if a job is tiring, but I also know from my dad sometimes he comes home and he can't do anything anymore. Uh, and I, I know that feeling. If I work too much for university, I sometimes get that where I know my brain is like, I can't do anything. I don't even want to watch a movie. My brain is just dead. Uh, and I hope that my job will not get me in that state because in that state you just can't do anything. Like that you just you just have to sleep or meditate or I don't know. Yeah, so those are all the comments that I got on the previous vlog. In the next vlog I'm gonna try and talk a little bit about what's the point or what's the ultimate goal because you need to have a goal otherwise you don't know when you succeeded. Now if you excuse me, I'm gonna jump down that direction. Am I crazy? I'm not gonna jump this way. So I see you on Saturday. I mean, for me, it will be in 10 minutes because I'm gonna record the video now. Because on Saturday, I will be in Italy playing the Nationals in Beach Ultimate. Right, so thanks for commenting, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you're into this kind of shit. And otherwise, why are you still watching? <laughs> I still have no idea what I'm gonna say in that video for Saturday. I'll, go, I'll, I'll figure something out. Till then, make your motivation. And don't jump! No! Do we do an end screen? We do an end screen, sure, why not? Okay, here's another video that YouTube wants you to watch as always. And then the previous vlog that people commented on. Also, find the subscribe button right here. And then I'll see you on Saturday.